lovely YouTube people. Um, so today's video, um, I wanted to show you my trip to South Sudan that I took in March 2020. I have this footage um, and I also had my sketches. So whilst I didn't film myself actually sketching, um, you can still get to see a bit of my trip and some of the sketches I did when I was there. Um, South Sudan is one of the world's youngest countries and not many people have visited um, so I felt really honoured to get a chance to go. Um, I actually work for an adventure travel company so we deal with kind of um, off the beaten track kind of places um, such as Afghanistan and Iraq and Iran and now South Sudan too. So um, we went to visit some of the more remote kind of tribal regions. Um, so these guys were awesome. I just wanted to like party and jump. Um, this was the Tabosa um, tribe. Um, and as you can see, they've got like amazing like hut architecture. They look like wizard huts or something. They're super cool. And then the ones on stilts are like the food stores um, to keep their keep their food away from the uh, vacuum cleaners known as goats. Um, so and this was a little camp that we stayed in on one of the days. So these cool little round huts. Here we're having a picnic by the side of the road and we're just um, getting into the kind of Boya mountain range here. So this is the Larin tribe um, who also have super cool huts and guys with baseball caps and feathers in them, which is super awesome. So you can see they're kind of almost like a similar style, even though the tribes are hundreds of miles apart. Um, and they're kind of centered around this big rock that we climbed up. That was super cool. We got to see the sunrise over the mountains, which was really nice. And then just before we left in the morning, I think this was like 8.30 in the morning, um, the, the Larim, the Larim tribe put on this awesome uh, goodbye dance for us. So that was pretty cool. We then took a drive onwards on uh, these kind of non-roads, uh, getting thrown around all over the place, um, to the Lutuko tribe, um, which has four different kingdoms. So we actually met the king here, um, and the way to, to greet him was to say Mong Mong Mong, which was pretty cool. Um, so I did my best, my best curtsy and said Mong 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 to him in the best way I could. Um, and then this was like the most awesome part of the trip was visiting the Mundari tribe and um, specifically their cows. I just absolutely loved them. They were just full of so much personality and the Mundari just care for them all day long, like rubbing ash and stuff over them to protect them from the mosquitoes. And the last bit of the trip here I was in Juba, the capital of South Sudan, watching a Boru Boru um, match, which is like an all female game. Um, and it's kind of, it's a bit like dodgeball. Um, but yeah, it was awesome to watch. Um, and it's great that there's, it, there's an all female sport in uh, South Sudan. Um, so for those of you that may not have seen my other videos, um, I've actually just released a book um, called Sketchy Adventures Around the World. Um, it's an ebook format, it's a PDF, uh, 60 pages of over 130 illustrations um, and little kind of notes or stories about the last three years of my travels. I'm really proud of it and I think you'd really love looking at it if you're into travel sketching 
um, or urban sketching or anything like that. Um, so the link to the book is in the description below. Um, there's also a discount code if you buy it before the 1st of September, you can get 20% off. Discount code is USKWORLD, but again it's in the description below. Um, thanks for watching guys and I hope you've enjoyed this kind of a bit of a strange left field little video. Um, but it's given you a bit of insight into what an amazing country South Sudan is.